If imitation is the highest form of flattery, then Georgia Governor Zell Miller's has been flattered by the best. Governor Miller, with the Hope Scholarship, with the pre-kindergarten program, with the commitment to hook up all your schools to the internet, with all the other initiatives, has turned the lights on and America is seeing the light. It has been said that Zell Miller's biggest asset can be traced to his humble beginnings in Young Harris, Georgia. Growing up in a small town really does help you keep perspective on who you are and you, you probably carry with you always those small town values. And Governor Miller, in my opinion, clearly does carry the values of the small town. He cares about people as individuals. His value for education began with his parents, both of whom were educators. He took up teaching as a history professor at Young Harris College. And then Zell Miller got a taste of government. His political career began at age 27 as the youngest mayor of Young Harris. Miller rose through the ranks of Georgia government to become the 79th governor. Isel Brian Miller. Isel Brian Miller. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm that I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute the office of governor of the state of Georgia. The office of governor of the state of Georgia. His platform was always education and it has become his legacy. From the passage of the Georgia Lottery to the fruits of its revenue. His example to young people is one of the great legacies he will leave. And of course, what he's done for young people through the pre-kindergarten program, I think it's the best in the nation for four-year-olds. That's gonna pay off big time for Georgia. So both in his, both in his example and in his actions, uh, Governor Zell Miller has done enormous service for our state and particularly for the young people of our state. The great contributions that he made certainly it's the Hope Scholarship would have to be right at the top of the list because not only does it allow people to go who have earned their way into school uh, with a B average, not only does it give them the opportunity to go to school free, uh, uh, which is a tremendous opportunity either for vocational school or uh, upper higher education in university or college, but the fact that it keeps some of the brightest and the best people in our state, in our state, as opposed to going away to other schools, uh, which for the future of Georgia will create great leadership and future entrepreneurs and doctors and teachers and just all kinds of great people who will stay here. I think Hope Scholarship has changed everything in the state of Georgia. It's changed higher education uh, by rewarding scholarship and by encouraging students to do well. Uh, academic standards throughout the state are going up because of that. In the seven years since his election, over 400,000 Georgia high school seniors have graduated from public schools far better than the ones that preceded the Miller administration. Over a quarter of a million Georgia four-year-olds have attended a public pre-K kindergarten program that is the envy of the rest of the United States of America. And most importantly, hundreds of thousands of Georgia's teenagers have gone to college on the Governor Miller's Hope Scholarship Program, investing over a billion dollars in their future. Governor Miller's approach to our children and new education has been both colorblind and bipartisan. Governor Miller has also brought Georgia hope by creating diversity and power. Unflawed character, unruffled stability, a good heart, and a first-rate mind. What he has done in the area of appointments is really unparalleled. Uh, I know he's made more appointments and, and created more diversity on the judicial in the judicial arena and on the bench here in this state uh, than any of his predecessors, probably all of his predecessors combined. Uh, and that speaks very well, I think, of Governor Miller. Uh, but it hasn't just been on the bench, it's been in, on boards, uh, committees that he's had the authority to appoint to. Uh, his record is, is absolutely wonderful. Miller learned the value of hard work from his mother, Bertie, who built their home stone by stone. His upbringing and the U.S. Marine Corps taught him values that were passed along to his own family. Make sure my shoes were shined and uh, I'll always be on time. The things he taught me growing up were that you have a responsibility to yourself and to really everyone else to do your best, to be involved in your community where you live, things that happen around you. that. You've, you've got to be part of things. You can't just stand aside and watch the world go by, that you've got to get in there and do a little fighting and do a little bit of uh, 
what you can to put it in the direction you want to go. But that's the main thing. He taught me that uh, you've got to you've got to go you've got to go after what you want, and you've got to be focused and be part of things. You can't just stand aside. From Young Harris to the big city. Miller had to make only small adjustments to his new life. Last year, the governor announced that after being on the ballot in Georgia 22 times, he would never seek public office again. I will never be a candidate for any office, any office again in my life. So when his term ends next year, he will return to what he loves best. I expect him to report for work the, uh, the day after his successor is inaugurated. I, I agree with Zell, you know, that it's time for uh, for him to to stop being a, a candidate. Uh, I think that you know there's a lot of other things that he wants to do. He wants to uh, to teach again, and uh, he wants to do some writing. And uh, you know it's it's important to know when to go home in this business. Governor Zell Miller, the ultimate teacher and the man who brought us all hope.